hey guys, finish Decay. I mean, yeah. Not, I mean, we, we finished we, we, the TV show. We finished the TV show and the movie. We still have to finish Decade once we hit the middle of Double, apparently. <laughs> not that, the middle, the first, like, 15 episodes. Oh, what? Ever. It's basically the same thing at this it's point. Like one third. The first third of double. Uh, decade. It does. I don't want to say it fell apart at the end, but it definitely had its seams seems falling off. I don't know. I like. I had heard that there was reasons why that it wasn't that that it just kind of like petered off at the end, but I don't remember what they were, and I never I never bothered to look them up again. Yeah, uh, Superform looks <laughs> really dumb. <laughs> Decade Superform looks really dumb. All the cards. All the cards on his chest. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, problems include things like D-End no longer making sense. Because at first he was like, you know, I'm a thief. I go around stealing things. And then we learn his backstory and it has nothing to do with any of that. In fact, he should have the opposite reason. He should have the opposite goal of not doing the thing. Well, the the extra thing that doesn't make sense is that... Uh, D- Alright, I'm going to be honest. He made perfectly like logical decisions given what the people in his world gave him. Like... Had he would never have started world hopping and became the end had they just told him after they caught his brother that his brother was a spy. And then 14 didn't have to lie about sending his brother to the fucking brainwashing plant. Remember when we thought DN invented the brainwashing? Yeah, dude, for five seconds we thought he invented the brainwashing. Like, in, in DN, alright, so DN's world, uh, Daiki's world, is a, uh, is a spinoff of, of the Blade universe, where the undead have taken over or something like that, yeah. and they've decided to not enslave humanity, essentially, but say, hey, be really, really nice, or, or we kill, or, or we get rid of you. And like they're like they're doing this weird thing where they're doing like they're ruling it with like not dictatorship. It's that's what it is. It, it it's, I mean, it's still technically a dictatorship. Oh, it's still definitely d- d- dictator. But they're not they're not being like huge huge dicks. They're giving people a chance. They just they're, all have to be really nice. They like it, it going. They have to go out of their way to be nice. Like I think the worst example. The worst example is easily. Uh, Yusuke did not immediately go help a woman who needed help, while his friend who was with him did. Like, Natsumi goes and helps a woman carrying a a heavy thing, and Yusuke goes, huh, that's really nice of her. And he starts walking forward, and then, um, and then the, the undead, you know, police walk up and say, why didn't you immediately go help that woman? We're brainwashing you! Ah!" The only thing that, the only thing that makes extra no sense is that Yusuke should have been able to just murder the shit out of those <laughs> monsters. <laughs> How? He's just a normal human. You, you know, oh, you know what? Oh, you're right. I forgot. I forgot. Yusuke's Kuga? No. No. I, honest... Who's this Kuga that you speak of? I've never seen him. I heard he shows up in that new Zio movie. Oh, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> if it's Yusuke, I'm going to be fucking flipping tables. <laughs> I want I want my old Broda use K back. Thumbs up and everything. Oh man. Use K Use K does not deserve it. No uh, uh I wouldn't say that, but uh, uh, they definitely waste it. They waste his character so badly. Like he spends no time eighty percent of the time when he should be doing things, he's just not. Like I realize it it's common writer decade, and decade gets the spotlight. But there have been plenty of writer shows where two writers have been fighting monsters at the same time, and it's still Common Rider, whoever, Blade, Kabuto, uh, Fize, etc. And 
Yusuke, I want to say, spends 80% of the time when he should be Kuga as not Kuga. At one point, there was a time when Tsukasa was Kuga more than Yusuke was Kuga. Mm-hmm. Like, at one point, he... He quickly racked up, racked up the henshins. <laughs> yeah, like, he was going through, he's going through his forms and doing things, and at one point, I go, he turns into Kuga, and I go, I'm pretty sure at this point, Tsukasa's been Kuga more than Yusuke. <laughs> Like, he, start, he starts picking it up at the end when he kind of needs to, but there are, like, lots of times in the show when it's, like, Yusuke, why aren't you... Like, when they go to Black RX's world, it's like, yeah. Yusuke, well, why aren't you doing anything? He has he has no reason to not henshin and fight. Yeah, like, he's he, he, he's acting like he's one of those henshinless bystander side characters that, hap- that, that Natsumi is... So it's like, oh, but Yusuke's got to be with Natsumi. He's not even, like, turned into Kuga bodyguarding her or anything like that. He's just there in his normal human form. Like, that that's probably what bothers me the most about Yusuke's character is how, like, is how they just, they have this common Rider to accompany Tsukasa, and he does almost nothing. Like, the most he's involved is in the Agito world and sort of the Kiva world. Uh, he's more involved in the Kiva world because he's hanging out, being friends with Wataru, teaching him the yeah. meaning of being a person or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, he's he does things sometimes, but then there are worlds and times when even if he's not doing anything, he could still contribute to the fighting. Which he should, which he rightly should. There's a t- there's at one point. I think it is in Black RX's world when Sukasa is just flat out numbered. Like there's like there's two or three monsters or whatever, and Yusuke is just like Sukasa, and I'm like Yusuke, you can henshin, you can do the thing, and he has no reason to not do the thing. Uh, so. I, I will I will forgive him for being in the hospital with Natsumi when she's dying because she's dying. I mean like he could he could rightly just not be there there's like, but there's like two or three times where it's like it's all right that he doesn't henshin because he's actually doing something. Or or, or all Amazon, those other times. All or, those other or times. Or Amazon. I don't think he did anything in Amazon. He had no reason to not be doing anything. Right? Or, or you, you know what I mean. Like uh, he had reason to do things, but he didn't do things. He w- wait, he what? He it, did henshin in Amazon's world? Did he? Yeah. Uh, because he went to he went to Ryder Kick uh, the main boss in the first, oh yeah and he and he, and he and he reflect and then he did a Kuga reflect yeah, and yeah, then yeah. fucking kicked him back okay okay so he henshined once in Amazon yeah oh uh, yeah, Am- all right by the way uh uh I don't know if you're gonna agree with me you probably will Amazon worst world it is like b- the Amazon episodes are very easily the worst uh at least all the other worlds where it didn't make sense they were having. Yeah, a, a lot of it, it, if it didn't make sense, it was still interesting to see, but Amazon World was like, this is, alright, alright, alright. First of all, it starts off really, really stupid. It's, the characters spend literally 30 seconds watching people greeting each other in, in Sig Hiles. Yeah. Quite literally, Die Shocker, Sig Hile, gee Uh... And then someone goes up to them and goes "gee hee" as like a as like a as like a greeting, and they're just like "what?" and they're just and they're just like well, "where's my greeting?" and they're just like well, "what are you talking about?" And it's like the traditional die shocker greeting, and then Yusuke pulls the dumbest shit ever and goes "oh, die shocker is actually our enemies. We want to destroy them or what or whatever he says," and it's just like Yusuke, do you not have two brain cells to rub together whatsoever? Like it was like no uh uh-uh, uh no 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 he sold he like he had you you're talking about a guy who doesn't even do anything anyway and you expect him to think like, <laughs> you expect him to be able to put this together in the twenty seconds that they gave him when he doesn't even already put together the other things that he has to I I know I but it's it still bothers me just all right look look I can't they had twenty seconds to respond and Yusuke was the first one to talk and he just thought about it not he thought about it long <laughs> zero <laughs> times zero like, he thought about it for more seconds than brain cells he had <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Like, Alan, let's be real. If you or I were in that situation, we'd kind of awkwardly, uh, uh, gee, 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 and then kind of just, like, skulk. You know, I wouldn't even have gotten to the point where I would have known Die Shocker would have taken over the world. I, somebody walked up to me and did gee, gee, I would have been gee, gee back. And then I wouldn't have known that fucking Die Shocker controls the world. I would have just been like, well, I guess this world's a waste and I would have walked back to the job. <laughs> it's like, it's like, this is like Kamen Rider, I, you know, it's really funny. Um, I was, I was watching, uh, uh, videos and stuff on YouTube and, uh, uh, watching people talk about like, uh, Doctor Who and like its evolution over the years and stuff like that and it's just like oh yeah it started off as like this edutainment thing and then it started off as like you know fantasy crazy adventures in other worlds and timelines and stuff and it's like oh yeah but then they have to keep making like excuses on why they don't just get the fuck out when things are really bad and now I'm just realizing that Common Rider Decade is sort of like Common Rider Doctor Who because they just pop into a world and it's like shit's really bad. We gotta bounce. Oh wait, we can't because our our world bouncing is is super uh, is is super like um, no no oh, that's no. The word no I'm I'll, I'll, about. I'll, I'll give I'll give Sukasa the benefit of the doubt. He does he does go like yeah the world has a role for me. I guess I'll do it. That's it. It's not even like yeah, there's yeah, never yeah. there's never a moment where they say they the the idea of let's bounce happens. It's just Sukasa's is like oh yeah, we gotta I'm do the thing. Do, I'm gonna do the thing. Well, what I mean is like when things are really bad, like they're surrounded by mob by an angry mob, and it's like guys, we gotta bounce, and it's just like well, where do we go? It's like why not just pocket dimension out of here or whatever? Like we're D and D characters, and it's just like no, we can't do that. It's super arbitrary. That's the word yeah. I'm looking for. Their yeah. their dimension hopping is super arbitrary. Yeah. Uh oh oh and no no but the actual worst part all right all right the reason the Amazon world is super bad is because of Amazon himself is is a robot <laughs> it's a robot no 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 no, no. T posing piece of cardboard oh he's worse than that because he actually gets screen time like Drake was a T posing piece of cardboard because he had almost no screen time and he didn't matter to anything. Amazon did matter to things, but he was like a he was like a mannequin with a sound box in it. You could say he didn't matter to anything because anything that happened in that Amazon world meant fucking nothing. I mean, that, it was you're a, right. It was, a, you're it, right. was, it, was it was literally just an episode where the monster of the week was another die shocker fight, and then it ended. the The problem with it is he was just so emotionless. He was just like Amazon. Uh, Super Dai Sudan. You know what's funny? It's like and when the, the child... Best, the best part <laughs> When the like, child betrays him. No, no. Why did you betray me, child? No, why did you betray me? I, I, I swear that was, like, his delivery. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not gonna blame the actor right now, because maybe his directing was shit. But, like, all the other directing in the show is people emoting and stuff, so it's like, maybe it was the actor. Maybe he was just bad i i don't know i don't want to say an actor is bad or not from like one role in two episodes but man it was pretty bad uh but yeah like after after sukasa does all the world hopping and oh, oh, oh. Farm, they do they do daiki's backstory there uh, the show goes uh now he's gonna world hop and the enemy is gonna be die shocker and uh, the the one guy who he has to deal with every time is apollo geist Apollo Chingy. Yeah. Uh, he's he's kind of cool. I, I kind of like yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Uh, it's too bad he only showed up like the last six episodes or whatever. Yeah. And you know you know who meant Jack All? The fucking trench coat man. Decade, you have destroyed this world. I will make you pay. But he didn't. I mean, apparently he does, but he didn't. It's like everything is Decade's fault, and we we almost see no, no see, reason the, the, on why it's his yeah. fault. Even in the movie, it's barely his fault. Uh, we don't like. We don't know why he has the initial hate boner, but I already know why he has the super hate boner every time Decade world hops. After that, yeah, apparently that's it. It's like. Something something world fusion or whatever. Yeah, uh, people keep telling like they even say it in the show. People keep telling Decay that he has to go around 
and destroy all the riders, otherwise all the worlds are gonna fucking fall, collapse in on each other, and everything's gonna fucking die. Uh, and but he doesn't do it because he doesn't know that he has to do it, and so because he doesn't want to. Yeah, like when people outright tell you you're going to destroy the world, but I don't want to. It's not even they say that you're going to destroy the world. They say you have to. Like no, the sh- uh, no, no. So, at so, the start oh, of the show, Wataru says that he has to. Does he? Yeah. Oh, and, I must have missed yeah. like that at line. At the start of the show, he says he has to, and at the end of the show, he goes, "You were supposed to." <laughs> That's kind. Of, oh yeah, because it, it, I just assumed it was like everyone going up to decade. It's like I've heard no, of you, decade. Only, You're no, supposed to destroy the, the only world. One that says you, the only one that actively says you destroyed the world is uh, Narutaki because he fucking like big hate Tsukasa doesn't actually do his job. If Narutaki went up to him and just got over it and just made his hate boner flaccid as fuck, he'd just tell him, "Hey, you're supposed to do your job. Otherwise, all of reality is gonna collapse in on itself." Like if Narutaki was more than just a Tatakai, then like I mean, I I would like if he if he just even if he said that like even if Narutaki like went went along going, "Why didn't you destroy this fighter? You have to do it. You're dooming us all." Like, even if that, like, people could have, like, uh, it would have been alright if he had said that, and then they just dismissed him anyway as some crazy guy or something. Yeah, like, that would have been way better, but no, he's just, he's always going up and like, Decade, you are the one who destroyed this world. I cannot believe that you destroyed this world. If this is all your fault, Decade, why did you have to go to this world and destroy it? Every time you step foot in the world, you destroy it! And every time they look around, they're just like, what? But yeah. <laughs> like, like if he had just been more clear on how, like, Decade isn't destroying the world by going to it. He's destroying the world in the future by not having destroyed it in the present. Duh. Like, how Decade's supposed to put that together? So anyway, uh, especially when he doesn't want to. The be- the best I could surmise, uh, <laughs> even though we don't have it, like, we don't have an official answer to why he has this raging hate bar. Uh, the best I could surmise is that he's from Decade's world, where, where Tsukasa, like, where the movie tells us that in Decade's world, Tsukasa was just the leader of Die Shocker. And he had an adorable little sister that could dimension hop, but we never see her after that movie, and ever again, I assume. Uh, correct. <laughs> Why? She honestly doesn't mean anything. <laughs> But she's the one who gave y- Yusuke rising ultimate Kuga. Which he doesn't deserve. <laughs> Remember at the end of this show? He, he just, just because... turns into ultimate Kuga? No, he turns into rising ultimate. No, it turns into ultimate Kuga. Because oh, I was yeah. like, oh wait, he doesn't get it. Because like... we, we went back and looked at it. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it shows... It sh- so at the end of the show, they start the Rider War. A bunch of riders just are henching in front of him and start charging him, including Yusuke in ultimate form. Then they do the cut from the start of the, the from the start of the show, where it shows all the riders having the war with him, and then it shows Ku- Mighty Kuga fucking rolling by on his motorcycle. Like, it's like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> Yusuke's supposed to be on Sukasa's side now, because isn't he helping him fight all the riders? No, I thought he was. No, they're they're all fighting him. They're all fighting him. And he wins. Yeah, because he's, you know, Jesus. The the god. Uh, <laughs> just, but still, he, he, he just gets ultimate form, and he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve ultimate form. He died. He died and got resurrected. <laughs> One of those Rando Riders had lightning powers, like... Yeah, Todoroki! <laughs> yeah, that would... fucking rock, rock him. <laughs> That would have been the best. Like, if they had done that in, like, the Hibiki world. Uh, oh, yeah, super Hibiki world, by the way, was super cool. I liked Hibiki world. Man, it would have been, it would have been great if it's, like, if, if they actually showed him fighting everybody, and then he hears the... He goes, all done, starts, like, wiping his hands. Then he starts hearing the rock music. He goes, he goes Todoroki, what are you still doing around? Like... You're not even, like, what are you gonna do? I just beat everybody, and then he just, then he just, do, he does the huge, sick guitar riff, the lightning comes out, hits Yusuke, and Yusuke just gets back up in his ultimate coup. Yeah, 
And uh, uh, he, he starts getting, like, the rising forms. Like, he starts cycling through the rising forms. And then he turns into Ultimate Kuga. Oh, man, wouldn't be great. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, like... No, but, uh... We it, gonna... but, but that's if they had done, uh... That's if they had done anything with Yusuke. Like, if they had killed him and brought him back. Oh, no! I, I swear to God, it would have been the best scene in the show if, like if Yusuke died, like, taking a hit for, for Tsukasa, or uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, it literally doesn't matter, and Natsumi is just like, oh my god, Yusuke, I can't believe he just fucking died, and then Tsukasa is just off to the side going, don't worry about it, just, just leave him be, it doesn't matter, it's all good, and she's just like, Tsukasa, how could you be so cold and heartless, he was your friend, he took that, you know, lethal blow for you, (laughs) and we're talking about this now, (laughs) yeah, 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 it's just like, how could you do this? And Tsukasha's just like, the idiot got hit by himself. It wasn't my fault or whatever. And he starts fighting the monster. And, it, you know, it, it shows him kind of, like, being, you know, upset. And he's just acting like he doesn't care. And then, like, uh... And then, the because in the original Kuga, when, Yuz, when, when Godai died, uh... They were supposed to leave him alone. It literally yeah. says in the manuscript uh, or the instruction booklet for the for the Kuga belt. You know, the ancient Babylonian instruction <laughs> manual for his rider belt. <laughs> it says, "Hey, if the fi- if the warrior holding the belt dies, or, yeah, it's called the Amadam. If the warrior wearing the belt dies, don't do anything. He'll be fine. Like those are literally the instructions. Just leave him alone, and he'll come back. <laughs> yeah, just leave him alone, and he'll come back to life." And then he, and then Godai dot and then Godai does. So if that had happened here, uh, and then you know he comes back in like a moment of triumph, like with you know some some Kuga music coming on, and he's him going go, Chou Henshin. Yeah, just just rising forms at that moment. Yeah, even him. even if he doesn't have, even if he doesn't get get the reason why Godai originally got the rising forms, which is getting electric sh- electrically shocked, you know, from a defibrillator. Uh, even if he didn't have the, re- he could just have the rising forms. Like if he gets Saiyan powers, you know, he dies and comes back and he's stronger, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then, then Natsumi would be like, oh wow, he must, or, 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 uh, or Yusuke goes, oh yeah, my Kuga belt can bring me back to life. Uh, as long as people don't do anything to my body while I'm dead. And then Natsumi's just like, oh, that's why Tsukasa didn't care. Oh, you died. Yeah, I want this whole conversation to happen while he's henshin. And then when they finish the fight, he de henshins and his face is scribbled on. <laughs> just yeah, but Natsumi is just like, oh yeah, that's why Tsukasa didn't care. He knew he knew about your Kuga powers and how they brought you back to life. And then Tsukasa is like, yeah, yeah I definitely, totally, dude. dude. I definitely, I definitely knew, I definitely knew about that. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> but they didn't. I, 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 I wish, I wish, uh, I wish. Uh, I wish. But yeah, I wish. the TV show just ends on the cliffhanger of uh, the the Rider War happens. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Sukasa won. Yeah, he because he has to. Yeah, uh, Bichu does. Uh, didn't actually kill them all. Because wait till he has to go back. Wait, wait till you're watching the next movie and you're watching him kill the ones that you think he would have already killed in that Rider War. Oh, but, but by the way, uh, I do want to say during Rider War, remember that time? I, I looked up his name because I kept forgetting. Uh, Sagark. Remember when Sagark fucking murdered those Hibiki riders? Yeah. <laughs> Tenki and Todoroki? Yeah. Like, literally. He stabs him through the chest and does the exploding. No, no, finisher. no. His name's not Sigark. That, that's that's his belt's name. Yeah, that's his belt belt's name. It's Taiga. Like Taiga is. No, his... no, no. But but the the rider himself has a cool name though. Is it is it not Sigark? Uh, no, that's has... his belt. Saga. Yeah. It's Kamen Rider Saga. Saga, yeah, Saga. It's aided by Sigark. Okay, yeah. my bad. Saga arc. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Saga fucking murders the shit it, out of Tenki and Todoroki, like Akira and 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 Todoroki. It's just like no, like the small child that becomes Hibiki in the Hibiki world. Because in 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 Hibi in this version of the Hibiki world, Asumu is actually going to be is actually training to become the next Hibiki. And then he's a ten year old boy this time. And he's a ten year old boy this time instead of a fourteen year old or whatever he was. Yeah. In in. OG Hibiki. And then he murders the shit out of Saga. It's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, then he murders the shit out of Saga in the Rider War. 
And the best part is is Wataru comes in and he's just like, "You mur or, uh, you murdered uh, Ixa." He's like, "You murder?" Or, or no, no, that, that was, was Blade. Blade. That yeah. was Blade. It's like, "You murdered uh, Ixa. You murdered Langle." And I'm just like, "Didn't Langle throw you in front of a fucking finisher at one point?" <laughs> Shouldn't even fucking like who you know who knows maybe they replaced maybe they replaced, replaced Mootsky with someone he actually liked. Yeah, uh, sorry guy, you can't be Langle anymore. You threw you threw a Nakama on the way of a fucking finisher. <laughs> <laughs> somebody they actually like. Yeah, like uh, I mean, like decade overall is fine. Uh, it definitely was a little bit more fun in the beginning. But the certain the little things where it's like use K was completely useless for eighty. I, I want to say seventy five percent of the time he's on screen, uh, and like DN's backstory only not not making that much sense to me anyway. Because like he's like oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go gallivanting and I want steel treasure. I want steel treasure. Blah 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 blah. And it's like at no point does he make any mention of. I need rider powers to go free my world from oppression or whatever. It's because he's going to do it by himself. Yeah, exactly. But if he had been stealing rider powers for that purpose, like if he had been like, I need these rider powers instead of I want treasure, like that would have, that would have made it more sense to me, but he doesn't. So it doesn't. I just, I, I, you know, I literally just, after having watched the DN episodes, that's like, I just take my takeaway is that's the reason why he needs rider powers, and that I just accept it. I accept it. It's just I wish it was more part of his character than it's not. Like it's just not uh, for those episodes. And then like the (laughs) after after that, he shifts from being a thief to being Sukasa's friend and a thief. But more Sukasa's friend. Sukasa's Nakama. Like literally, Sukasa is surprised about it. Like at one point, Dien comes and saves him. And Sukasa just goes, wait, you're saving me? And he's just like, well, yeah, we're friends now, aren't we? We are friends, right? And then Sukasa's just like, in this situation, we're as fucking friendship as we fucking can be, okay? We can be as fucking friendship as you want <laughs> if you're saving my well, ass. I'll take a dick for you. <laughs> <laughs> Save my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like... We can be whatever you want as long as you're on my side right now. Like, Sukasa's getting his ass kicked. I forget by who. Uh, what would you say best world was? Uh, I think, uh, I really do think that Blade World was best world. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, the the fake it till you make it was really funny. Uh, mm, a biased part of me wants to say Kabuto World. So I liked Kabuto World. Like, Kabuto, dude, like the, the, Kabuto like, World was... There's like, there's like nothing happening there. It's like, go from point A to point B. There's like, I don't know, like... So, legendary dumb, Grandmother, uh, something about broth not changing ever. Yeah. Like I said, that's the biased part of me. Because it just has that really funny scene and the really cool time stop fight scene. Like, like uh, oh, you can't beat Clock Up. And he's just like, well... He's like, you can't fight Clock Up. And Tsukasa pulls out the Fies card and he goes, well, for 10 seconds I can. And he activates the Excel form and he fights him for 10 seconds. It was really cool. Well, not like 10 he seconds. He should have, like, he should have fucking, uh, he should have fucking mopped the floor with Zabi in that fight. Because he, he was kicking people's asses, like, handedly up to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there was that really cool fight scene. And I kind I kind of liked, uh, you know, New Age Kabuto. Uh, but I... I also, I also have a big bias towards the Black RX world. Oh, Black R, Bla, like Black Black. I said RX. Blade because I, I, I really enjoy like really funny, really, like really funny dumb shit. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. But like, it was. Yeah, no, no, it, I agree like, with you. Like fucking fan wise, it's it's Bla, it's Black Black RX because of that that dumb like. Oh man, gonna team up with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am the child of the sun. Come in, Raida! Black RX! And then he's just like, and, oh man, like, basically when they go to the Black RX world, uh, he meets, he meets Black RX. Oh, I forget his name right now. Um, Tatami or something like that? I don't know. Um, everyone's gonna fucking hate me for yeah. not knowing his name. Uh, 
but they go to the Black RX world and they meet him and they're just, and he's just like, oh yeah, I have this Nekama named Joe uh, uh, Joe the Haze, yeah. uh, and it's like, but I, I'm not fighting right now, or I, he, we're not fighting together, but I know that eventually I can fight because he he he's in my heart fighting beside me or, or whatever that whatever that sappy bullshit. I know wherever he is, we're fighting together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like that, and then uh. And then he world hops back. And he world hops. He tries to follow Apollo Geist as Apollo Geist tries to like world Whoa. change, and he fought, he runs into uh, Kamen Rider Black. Yeah, which is the same guy, just younger. Uh, and he does the henshin, and it's it's a really cool henshin. Yeah. And then he then he mentions how he's like, oh yeah, I've been, I met this guy named Joe the Hayes, and uh, we've been fighting together. Whatever. <laughs> Unfortunately, we never get to see this guy. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Tsukasa goes back to the Black RX world and uh, <laughs> goes like, oh, I got a card, pulls out a Kamen Rider Black card, uses it, and it just summons No, I, I thought I thought DN comes in because he's like, no. And he, and he uses, and no, then no. he... No, no, Tsukasa uses it. It's the only time that his card summons something. Oh, okay. I know this. <laughs> Yeah, but he instead of like him turning into black, he just summons Common Rider Black, and it's Black R, and it's the guy looking at he, at himself, and they know what they have to do. And then they don't I I like at one point when Black RX is like, no, he he tells his past self, "No, I'll fight Apollo Geist by myself," and then he kind of gets his ass beat, and he's just like, "Okay, now 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 start helping me," <laughs> <laughs> and then they do the double kick, and it's really cool. Um, oh man, uh, what, what else, what else is, like, super cool? Oh, R- Rider Man, T- T- Tatsuya Juji. Yeah! G- fucking Juji, Tatsuya, is it? It's, uh, uh, Juji, Yo- or, uh, Yuji Joji. Yuji Joji, that was it. Yeah. Fuck in the movie. <laughs> in the movie. Right. He comes in like he's the most important fucking man in the world. After Sukasa gets dethroned from Die Shocker, this man... By, should... by the way, Die Shocker would have won if they hadn't have done that. And yeah. they did it for no reason. They did that for no reason, and they lost because of it. I'm just yeah. going to throw that out there. <laughs> Juju Yoshi walks in. Like he's the single most important movie character. <laughs> <laughs> like Tsukasa sees him, and he's just like, like Juji is like, you cut off my arm. Like he's Rider Man from the from the old generation, and he's like holding up Tsukasa. And he's just like, you cut off my arm now. Nah. And then Tats- er, er, Tatsuya Tsukasa is just like. Just yeah, do sure. it. Yeah. I don't have anything anymore. And he's just like, man, you're really killing my hate boner right yeah. now. <laughs> and then he gives, then he gives Tsukasa the 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 lesson about what it, or the lesson about what it means to be a rider. Then he rips off his robot arm, attaches a gun arm, and fucking runs off to kill a bunch of monsters that are closing in on their position. And, and Tsukasa goes to the, go do the end of the movie fight. The best part about it is like he, he he walks in like the most important fucking character to the backstory ever. And it's the first time we've seen him. And it's the last time we've seen him. <laughs> Probably has the biggest impact on the whole movie. Even better than No, 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 no. He came back. Because remember when he summoned all the riders again? Rider Man was there. Yuji Yoji, er, uh, Yuji Joji came back. <laughs> no, no, that was all, that was alternate universe Yuji Yoji. Joji Yuji. Joji. It doesn't matter. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, he, he was there. But like, like, Tsukasa's literally like dying on the ground. He's like Lelouch from fucking Code Geass, like after after his sister dies or whatever. And just it, it, he has to get someone to come and fucking put him out of his misery. Except they decide to give him a pep talk. <laughs> oh man! Just walks up like the the most important character in the movie. We've never fucking seen him before now. Like um, no 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 build up to his character at all. He's just this is right, and, and it is the actor for Rider Man, so that's cool. 
and also the the act uh, the the, the actor for Black RX was the actor, right? Was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amazon was not Amazon, and that's why he sucked. And, and it's really it's really weird because we went from the Amazon episodes to the movie, and movie Amazon had all of the emotion, and he yeah. and he never detention. He was only in Amazon form, but he was like. Super dies at the dawn, and he and he had like all of the growling and all that stuff, and I'm just yeah. Jaguar Shock, yeah. Jaguar Shock. <laughs> no, uh, why did you betray me? What else? Uh, we got the we got the cameo for Double, <laughs> a Green Rider. No, a Black Rider. Time to count up your sins, and and he says the he says the thing. Yeah. Uh. Show, he shows us uh, he heat, sh- heat metal. Yeah, he, he shows us heat. Jo- he goes from Cyclone Joker to Heat Joker to Heat Metal. Yeah, because he has the 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 Common Rider build power, but way before build. Yeah. Uh, jo- also, double double doesn't need perfect matches. He just does- well, well, neither does build. Doesn't also neither does build. Build doesn't need the best match all the time. But best. he should. He fucking should. There's, There's no, no reason for him to never best match. What is the reason for him best? Like, what is the difference between a best match and not a best they, match? They, they state that best match best match is stronger than other ma- than the other the regular match. Then the, yeah, there is no reason. Like when he goes into fucking what is it? Uh, we've been watching Common Rider build. Yeah, we've been we've been, we've been side by side in. Uh, build and decay which is gonna be really funny when we start watching double like when we watch it side by side because it's just gonna be like half rider half rider <laughs> like like they're 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 kind of the, the the gimmicks between them are kind of similar like build is two components of of whatever like pirate and train <laughs> kaizo kurasha and then joker is uh Two people fused uh, fused together into one rider, and they each have a, a a MacGuffin thing that we'll get into when we start watching Double. Yeah, I already know about all this because I know a little bit about other riders, but it, 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 it he's two power ups mixed together, and his base form is called Cyclone Joker. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything else to say about Joker. Uh, six out of ten, I six know. and a half out of ten. Just because All Riders versus Die Shocker was really cool with them fucking summoning the giant Common Rider Jack. Like, Daiki walk in, comes in, oh, I had a trump card just in case. Summons Common Rider J, giant ass mode. Final form ride, Decade. Hey, this will tickle for a little bit. Turns wow. Decade into a giant Deca driver. Uh, yeah, uh, same thing, six and a half out of ten. Yep. Next time. We're going. We're going to be going hard boiled, film noir, detective noir, common writer double. Yeah.